beautiful, beautiful, beautiful worship. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you see all that stuff in the box, if y'all came in late, those are the forms. Um, if you need some of these forms, just let me know and I can just repaste them. Just, just in case if you, uh, need, like, if you, like, li li like, legit need, like, all of this. Like, this is the, uh, ministry, like, staff, women's group, mothership group, men's group, fellowship group, uh, fellowship, father's group, kids' parents form, a youth group, uh, young adults, adults, and small group, and this is for GameCon. So, if you would like me to repost that, then I can. Why is this saying chat? Pause to scroll, see more messages. Okay, there we go. Well, um, we didn't get any prayer requests, but just because we didn't get any prayer requests doesn't mean we shouldn't pray. So, let's go to the Lord and pray, shall we? Oh my gracious by our Lord, I come to your throne, Lord. Lord, help me to be able to say this message correctly. Um, please prepare it on my heart, Lord, so that people can hear you through me. And remember, it's all about you. It's not about me at all. And hopefully this message will become a blessing to people, whether they're listening on Twitch, Discord, or even from the future on YouTube, Lord. Hopefully this is like a blessing to them and really encourage them to really inspire them to be disciples. So I hope that people are here to be able to get the message, to be able just to receive it. Not just be able just to learn it one day and that's it, but to forever to keep this message into their hearts, Lord. I do always the Holy Ghost's name. Amen. So, amen, amen. Welcome to the ministry service. I am your lead minister, your lead pastor, whatever you want to call me, like le like legit, whatever, whatever you want to call me. Um, so I kind of um going off, I get, not in a different direction, but um, kind of, sort of ish. I can put ish, right? Ish, like dish, thrish, bish. I sound like I said a cuss word. Rip me. Anyway, um, I want to go into this and kind of saying like, don't shoot the messenger. Um, kind of vibe. I'm pretty sure you heard that saying, don't shoot the messenger. Um, you see messengers trying to bring a message, and sometimes people say, don't shoot. They may ha they may have good news. Or even bad news, like back in the, you know, old times, like before emails were even born, like before, like cell phones, text messages, you know, they had to literally write a document and have a messenger. This was even before mailboxes even existed. Yeah, we're going that deep. So you have a messenger boy that was, you know, going to, um, as some of y'all are history, our historians. Um, there was a messenger that went to Thomas Jefferson house to, to get the Declaration of Independence. And the Declaration of Independence needed to be delivered. And that's kind of like, don't shoot the messenger. And it shouldn't be like that with us as Christians. Um, and the point that I, another point that I want to mainly draw out is that the messenger matters and the message is major so before i get into you know all of this um to go back into ruth which i i encourage y'all to go read that if you if you have not it is a really good short book um i went over in it in my last message it's on youtube how to run a marathon um of just uh talking about naomi um, so to go a little bit a little bit um, to to know what we're reading at. So Naomi kind of just lost everything, you know, and she's old and she just wants everybody to leave her alone. Essentially, um, no one wanted to be around with her except for Ruth. Her sister has been there with her 
to the end. Um, and I was I was clearing that in my last message in my last sermon, um, how to run a marathon to not run to be able to run with others and not to run alone. And um, I've been reading more of this book. This book is really really good. Like I said, I really encourage everyone to go read a uh, Ruth if you can. But I'm gonna take uh, Ruth one. If you would like to open your Bibles, Ruth chapter one. And we're gonna first start in verse sixteen. And someone's in Discord. Okay, hello, Alina. Um. So in verse sixteen, it says, "But Ruth said, do not urge me to leave you, or return from following you. For where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Ye people shall be my people, and your God be my God." Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. Mary, may the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. Um, this sounds so perfect, right? Like, imagine this at like a marriage, you know, saying like, "I love you. I will lodge where you lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your God will be my God." Where you die is where I will die as well. You know, nothing will part between us. You know, this sounds like a really perfect vow. Ho hopefully, maybe my girlfriend wants to do this. You know, if we ever end up getting married. You know, if, if God wants us to be there. This is a perfect vow. I know this might be getting off a, 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 t a tiny bit off topic. But it's like so perfect the way Ruth is doing this. Like, it is so perfect. Like, it's, it's built on trust, and people want to marry just because of wealth, you know, and all that stuff. You know, you you got to have, you know, if you don't have this type of money or this good amount of money, then I'm not with you. You know, if you don't have a good, well-paying, good, high, professional job, then we're not going to be together. If we live in a crappy trailer, then we're not going to be together. But the thing is, trust, that that is the, the foundation with any relationship. Like even I said in my last sermon. If you remember correctly. Um, from what I said. You know Ruth was there with her. You know Ruth trusted Naomi. Like even though she went to. complete, She was. She was so determined that. Like no one wants to be. You know. Everyone just ran off. And just like she. You know. She said don't look at me. You know, I'm not much of a remembrance. Don't remember me. That's what Naomi did. You know, she didn't want anybody to remember her because she lost everything. Uh, hello, Shelly. Your mic is on. She, she lost everything. You know, kind of like Job. If you want to go to Job as well, you know, she lost everything. Um, hey, uh, Shelly. Could you mute your mic? There's like static. Don't worry, I'll mute it for you. Alright, just for right now. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, that's that's what happened. You know, Ruth was there, you know, and helped her. And as we can see, if we continue on this path, you know, where Ruth and Naomi, they started to return to um, Bethlehem, I believe. Remember, they, they left. So, and uh, so in 18, and then well, to continue off what I was saying, it says, and when Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more. So Naomi decided to finally see what Ruth, because Ruth said it so perfectly. Like right there, like it is so perfect in 16 and 17. You know, so perfect. And Naomi's like, no more. So the two of them went out until they came to Bethlehem. And when they came to Bethlehem, the whole town was stirred because of them. And the woman said, is this Noah, Na Naomi? She said to them, do not call me Naomi. 
for the Lord has been bitter. See, this was before she returned to Bethlehem. What, what, like when I was talking about my race, this was, this was kind of a little bit before, you know. And then here in Stirrup, they were excited. You know, they were like, "Oh my gosh, Naomi, you're back! Like, where have you been? You know, we all miss you. You know, wouldn't you like those if that happened to you? You know, you came back from like a trip." And your whole town is like excited, like, yeah, you're finally back, you know? Like, yeah, and just throw it like a celebration. Saying, like, you're back, yeah, let's do something fun. People here were happy when Naomi came back. You know, and I feel like people should celebrate when people return, even if it's, you know, from a vacation or a short vacation, like... I went to a camp, you know, I went there for three, two days, because Friday was like we left at six, had to be there, and then Sunday we left around one, so two days, question mark, question mark, question mark, even though it was three days, so two days, question mark, and um, I came back. You know, to the house. And then no one said anything. No celebration. I didn't get what Nomi got. To say the truth. I didn't get what she got. Where people were stir up and they celebrate going, yeah. You know. Imagine that's what God wants you to do. Like, Naomi wasn't really depressed. Like, if you start to read this whole you know, book, which I encourage you to, you know, she wasn't, like, like, suffering with depression, she wasn't really hurting anyone, you know, she, she, she really wasn't, people was draw from her, so it's the image of, of her, and that's what we should ha have, the image that we carry out, you know, for God, like I said, the messenger matters, and the message is major. Like, are the people excited to see you? Or do they just go, oh my gosh, she's back here again. Oh no. I wish she was gone for longer. I mean, oh no. He's going to suck up all the internet, man. It was great when he was gone. You know, when he was gone, I didn't have to deal with any of that. But now he's here. Oh no. Oh no. Like, I was having a good time playing my game and everything. Like, I was a team champion at Call of Duty. But then this butthole decides to come back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, like oh, no. Like, think about those questions. Even meditate on them. Like, seriously. Like, does your presence hinder the gospel? Or does it stir it up? Like with Naomi's image. You know, we are the temple of the Spirit. And oftentimes we leave the Spirit out. I even did a whole message on this. Actually, a whole series on this. You know, because we have the Spirit within us. Jesus went up and the Spirit came down on us. And people said, like, we're waiting for Jesus to come back. He is back. He's been back. He's living in you. He's alive and active. You are the temple of spirit. Let your light shine. The farther you get away from the light, the closer you'll be in the dark. And you won't be able to be a messenger. The messenger matters. The message is major. The messenger can be a terrible individual. They may not be able to be able to say the right words, but at least they're delivering the gospel. They might not have the, you know, the perfect tongue to be able to preach, but at least they're trying. The messenger matters. And we have to have the God, the Spirit within us to be able to be a messenger. Because without God, we, we are not a messenger. I'm sorry. We won't be able to deliver the good news. 
I mean, we can try. Don't get me wrong, we can try. But the thing is, look at Naomi's image. You know, look at Ruth said to her before they came to Bethlehem. And she came in there. She wasn't, she wasn't, she, she was, you know, like I said, she, she, she was like, do not call me Naomi. Call me Maria. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. And I went away full. And the Lord brought me back empty. But the thing is, Ruth was there with her. What is your image? What do people say about you? Like, are they excited to see you? Or are they just want to avoid you at all costs? Because we got to be that light no matter what. Like, think of Jesus when he walked on earth even. You know, like, I was, before, before I get into this, um, when I went to my church, um, there, the pastor was doing a series of witnessing, like techniques of how to witness to people. You know, what is the technique? Basically, a technique to be a message, messenger. And um, the first technique is basically just to get to know them. You know, like, hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Like, what's your hobbies? Oh, I like LSU. Oh, that's cool. You know, do you like games? You know. Starting to grow some hobbies, starting to grow that fellowship. Because when you start to go in and blast and in and saying you need a Bible and try to shove it down their throat, that's not a good way. And with the fruit of the Spirit, this is one of the personality, the characteristics of God that we should be able to have within ourselves. And one of the fruits is patience. You know, and patience is a key. It is. And you had to be patient with these people because it took for it took me forever to come to God. You know, I didn't come to Him until until 2016. I didn't grow up in a Christian home. You know, I didn't have some what people say like I grew up in a Christian home. Saying I'm being thankful for that. That's cool on you. But sometimes it takes people a little bit longer, and you have to be able to understand that and to be able to respect that. Like, I joined in a Resident Evil server. So far, I love the server. feel like I made some new friends than Christian servers. You know, I, I said that, you know, often. Because that is the truth. And I'm being respectful when I go in there. Like, if they don't want to hear about God, that's, that's it. But I can start planting the seed time by time. It doesn't mean to completely shut out. You know. You had to try to find that moment to go in and be able to spread the good news. You got to be able to pace, to be able to be patient. And then that, and also we have to be able to work within ourselves, be able to go out and to be able to be the messenger, you know. And the first thing is saying, like, oh, that's just being selfish, you know. You're basically only caring about yourself. You know, you're working within yourself. You know, don't care about what other people think. You know, just work within yourself. No, that's not what I meant. It's not what I meant. Because if you go to someone, right, hear me out. If you go to someone trying to teach them the Bible, but if you didn't even practice or didn't even put in the time or effort, then you're not going to be able to deliver that message. That great. You're gonna be in there scratching your head, going, "Uh, yeah, that's in the Bible." I don't, I don't. And 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 and, and you wonder why there's so many atheists in the world because, in facts, atheists study more of the Bible than Christians do. Atheists will actually point out flaws in Christians, and Christians get easily triggered or easily offended. When they're supposed to come out and try to make friends instead of just running away. Just because they don't know something. Like, I was an atheist for a long time to be a fact. Like, I just, to me, I just saw Christians as hypocrites. 
You know, that's the way I was seeing it. I didn't necessarily agree with some of the atheists of what they put when I was part of the group. Like how Noah's Ark can fit that many animals when Titanic can't. Like pulling that fact out. I'm like, I, I, you know, back then I was like, okay, cool. I, I don't care. You know, from what I've seen Christians, I didn't want to be a hypocrite butthole. You know, that's what I was referring as Christians. Because they will say this and say all this out of the Bible and do something else. And I've seen that in many Christians, even pastors even. You know, they will say something in church, and when you see their walk and seeing how they live, it's not, it's not right. You know, how many times have you heard the saying of you go into the church and you go out the same way you came in? Like the church is supposed to be for broken people. You know, it's supposed to be there for you. Not just to make you feel there like it's a chore. The messenger matters. But the message is major. Actions speak louder than words. How well are you doing in your life? Do you trust God? You know, is that, is that, is that what your relationship is? Or do you just go and go, oh, look how pitiful I am. Look at all this darkness around me. I just... You know, nothing's good is going to come out of this. You know, Job can literally say the, the same thing. He'd be like, oh, I just lost all this. It's just not. Or Naomi, even. You know, don't call me Maria. You know, call me this because, you know, I'm not a great person. I'm not that worthy person. You know, I just don't. I don't, I don't deserve any of this because I lost everything. The Almighty is even bitter with me. It makes us feel like we're Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. To be honest, when we're doing that. I don't know if any of y'all remember Winnie the Pooh. Or even remember Eeyore. You know, he was sad. He was depressed. You know. He was Eeyore. You know, I love the character. I love the dude. Love, love Winnie the Pooh um, growing up. But um, that's what he was doing. And like I said, the farther you get away from the light, you won't be able to preach. It's more selfish to take those lessons that you have learned and not sharing them to the others with love. In John 13, if we want to, if we want to go here for a second, all right, just just hold hold on for a second. In in Ruth, um, I think we're done, Ruth. Anyway, John 13. If you want to open up your Bibles, chapter 34. 30, 34, not 24, to 35. And it says, A new commandment I have given you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, and also are to love one another. And by this, all people will know that you are my disciples, and you will have love for one another. If you love people, he knows that you're a part of him. And we have to be able to do that. There's going to be people that's going to be hard to love. I even did a whole message about that way back, like a few months ago. I even recommend y'all to watch that to listen in. If you love one another, that's that's even the disciples asked that. Like, which one is your greatest commandment, Lord Jesus, our God? What is the greatest commandment? Love one another. It's easy to love someone that that we can get along with. But what about the ones that get on our nerves? We should st we should still spread that love. You know, we can say it, but what is our actions? You know, are you living like God? Are you being a temple of the Holy Spirit? You know, are you praying constantly? Are you reading out your word daily? Are you taking up that cross and following him? The messenger matters. And the message is a major. The messenger is us. The message is the gospel. And I hope that you're able to deliver that because we are a living proof. We're supposed to be examples. Jesus was a living example. He didn't have to get baptized. Guess what he did? Got baptized. 
There's things that he didn't even have to do. But guess what? He did it out of love. And if you show a Bible to them, they're like, oh, no, I'm going to get easy triggered. I don't want to. No, 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 no. I'm out. Gone. Bye. All right. Bye, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear about the Bible. I'm sick of it. Bye. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But that's how people act. To, like, it, 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 back in the day, like, even our 20 years, you know, t people was to get easily and triggered. Like, you're growing up watching South Park. You know, South Park is not a Christian show. I know that for a fact, but it says so many stuff, and people don't get triggered by that. Like, it takes world problems and make fun of it, and people don't get triggered by that, but when other people come to us, then we get easily triggered, easily offended. Like, sometimes we have to do the harsh truth. The Bible is truth. You can't lie about the Bible. Everything from Genesis to Revelations is true from God's mouth. That is the Bible. Like, if we want to go to Luke, let's go to Luke for a second. Let's go to Luke. We're going to go all the way around this Bible. Let's go to Luke, right? Let's go to chapter 4. Everybody likes chapter 4, right? Everybody loves Luke. Let's go to chapter 4, starting in verse 22. And all spoke well of him and marvelly, marveled at the gracious words that were coming from his mouth. And they said, It is not this is not just son. And he said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb Physicians, heal yourself. What we have heard you did at Capernaum, do here in your hometown as well. And he said, Truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his hometown. But in truth, I tell you, they were many window, win, widows in Israel in the days of Elijah. And the heavens were shut up three years and six months. And great famine came over all the land. And Elijah was sent none of them, but only separate in the land of Sidon to the woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers. In Israel in time, the prophet Elisha, Elijah, and none of them were cleansed, but the name and the siren. When they heard these things, and all the synagogues were filled, synagogue were filled with wrath. And they rose up and dove him out of town and brought him boil of heel. See, they were they were fed up with it. They wanted to, like I said here, throw him off the cliff. Kind of like what what Jews did to Jesus. Like, you're a false teacher. We don't want to hear any of this. You should die. And we're going to make fun of you while we're going to poke the stick up at, stick at you. Because they can't handle the harsh truth. Couldn't handle it. And we just get easily triggered or even easily upset. When someone spies wrong and saying, don't be judging me. Uh-uh, don't be judging me on what you said. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Did, did that person just say that about me? Uh-uh, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I want to get back at that person. Karma will be a witch. All right, I want to get back at that person. You know what this person did? I have a whole book of things that they told. They, wrote, they took a crayon and wrote all over my wall. How dare they? They, they pulled the plug on the internet while I was running Call of Duty. How dare they? They even make me embarrass myself in public. How dare they? And it shouldn't be like that. Jesus didn't do that. We're supposed to be like Jesus. We were made in this image, and we're supposed to be like him. He didn't go around shoving Bibles in the dirt. He didn't sit there and call names, saying, you're a hypocrite, you're a hypocrite. He didn't do that. He went around the world. Well, probably not all around the world, but you get what I'm saying here. You know, he went all around just preaching the good news. People want to listen. Some people didn't. They had a choice. That's all he was doing, and that's all we were doing. 
You know, people were happy to see Jesus. Like, yeah, Jesus. Like with Naomi. Like people were happy and celebrating. Like I said with you. Think of these questions. Think of these these questions that I just asked. Are people excited about you? Or do they not want you back and go, oh my gosh. What is your image today? How is your life doing? Are you being a light? Or being an adult? The message, the messenger, the message is perfect. The gospel is perfect. It doesn't need any add-ons, doesn't need any changes, but the messenger can be in a mess. And we're supposed to be messengers of God, disciples of God. You are his proof. Live like him. Walk like him. No matter what situations or circumstances come your way, try your best to be able to show love. Then you are part of his disciples. Says that back in John. Love one another. So what is your image? Where are you at right now? Do you need him more than ever? Have you been slacking off? Have you been like Naomi saying, don't call me by that name? Call me by something else? Is people excited to see you back? Or they just don't want you to be there? Think about them. Medit- meditate on these questions. Like, seriously. These are serious questions that need serious answers. You know, dwell on them, it, it, like, at the least. Think of, on them. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Does anyone in Discord or in Twitch? I want to mute you, uh, Shelly. Then she told us that, that Dave wouldn't be welcome because she was going to take us to the church with her while they were doing some... Okay, I don't know what Shelly is saying. I don't know if she's talking about something else. Um, But we're going to keep her muted. Because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear that conversation. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but um, anybody in Discord or in Twitch, do y'all have any comments, any questions, anything? You can even ask me questions if you want to. Give a moment of time for people to type or even set in this court. Whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you comfortable. Whatever makes you comfortable. I'll give it. I give it a few minutes. But hopefully, why why people may be typing or not? Hopefully, you'll be able to meditate on that. You know, it's hard to show love. Like I said, I even did that in the in, in a message, like way back, on how to love others. Because it's like I said, it's easy to love someone that you get along with, but it's hard to love someone. And loving does not mean to take them out on a vacation. At least give them, like, invite them over a cup of tea or coffee, even. You know, whatever you prefer. If it's not a drink place, maybe go somewhere to eat. You know, just talk and catch up. Be like, hey, it's been a while. You know, let's let's catch up. You know, I know you've been going that direction and I've been going this direction. Is Lisa still showing love? But I still encourage y'all to go back and watch that.
And hopefully people are excited to see you. I'm excited like every time my girlfriend even comes on the phone, I get excited. I'm like, yay, I get to talk to her and spend time with her, you know. I'm pretty sure every relationship is happy about that. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I'm, not, I'm, pro I'm pro more than likely I'm not the only one. <laughs> but I get excited. See, she, she knows that I get excited when I get to talk to her. You know, that's the image. Like I said, what does your image say? Are you stirring up the gospel? Are you hindering it? And I don't know if we have any questions, comments, or concerns, but do we have any prayer requests? I know Willie Chick said pray for Grandma. But do we have any others? I know this was kind of really short, short, short. Um, for me to be able to say all this, but it's just really important that the messenger matters and the message is major. Even write that down. Like, really remember that. Because the messenger does matter because they're presenting the gospel, the message, and that is a major. Like, yes, the messenger can be in the mess, but at least they're presenting the gospel, so they matter. So, yeah, it, it, it was a short little. I just wanted to be able to break it down and make sure that people understand as well. I'm sitting here just waiting for prayer requests. It looks like, like when I cross my arms, I know this is going to maybe a little random, but it looks like I'm a grumpy, grumpy son. Oh, look at me, I'm too grumpy. I'm sorry. Anyone has any prayer requests? Um, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one, just, just Willie Chick. If you are typing, let me know. If you are typing, please let me know. No one going once, going twice. All right, then let's let's pray. Humbly, gracious Father, Lord, I come to your throne, Lord. Lord, help us to be able to share that love. Help us to be a messenger of you. Hopefully we stir up that gospel, get excited about it, and show others, and not just hindering it. Help us to be able to do that, to have those moments, those opportunities. Because we meet different people. I may not meet the same people that people that are listening in through Discord or through Twitch. Or even in the future. I may not meet those people. But we can all plant small seeds. It may not be a big seed. But at least a small seed. A messenger matters. And a message is major. Help us be able to let our light shine. To be that temple of the Holy Spirit. Not only just starting today, help us to be able to do this by action. And not let this be a reminder. Help us be able to do these things. Whatever happens to a Sunday, when we go to church. Or maybe when we go somewhere after to eat. And maybe we get an opportunity to talk to someone. It'll be a chance to plant that small seed. Because our, our mission... Is to bring people to you, Lord. That is our main goal, our main purpose. And hopefully we can be able to do that today, Lord. I also like to lift up Willie Chick's grandmother. She's been doing good. She's been 
she's she's she, she's been doing good, you know, really really good. But right now, they're Willie Chick is thinking of another retirement home for her to stay. So hopefully everything will go well, and hopefully she'll be better and and this doesn't happen again. And that the retirement home will take really good care of her. Whatever retirement home she goes into. Hopefully they'll take good care of her this time. And not let it be a hospital trip. And I also want to lift up the family. All the family members that are involved with this. I lift up all these people to me. I do all this holy gracious name. Amen. So, amen and amen. Thank you. Um, if this was your first time, I want to be able to congratulate you. If this is your first time and you're in the gospel, or just me even, uh, if you somehow randomly found me on Twitch, I mean, if you did, I don't, I don't know if you did, but you could. I mean, I don't, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's a possibility if you really want to think about it. It is a possibility. But um, I would like to really congratulate you. So um, what I am going to do is send out this form. And um, if you want to be able to, um, you know, fill it out if you can or whatever you want to do, can I please send this? Thank you. Um, gosh darn it. So, um, if you would like to fill out this form, this will be a great way for us to be able to connect with you. And to, and if you have any questions, like what is a church? What is baptism? What is the first book of the Bible to read? Or if you have any questions about the message that I have said, you know, we would love to be able to connect with you. So if you want to be able to feel like you're connected, just fill out that form right then and there, and we'll be able to get you going. Also, GameCon is in two weeks. I really want to start exaggerating that a bit more because it is a big event that we are hosting here. It is a big, big event. And um, to also show off, I want to show off that slide again. Um, the, the game con slide so that you'll be able to get in um, with the information and everything so um, this is game con all the events all of this is set up and we would love to be able to have you there it's in two weeks we'll be able to have services just like these every Wednesday Thursday and Friday we'll be able to have games community games Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll be able to break into small groups even. To be able to understand whatever is being taught on each day. There's even a movie night. So you, that you can be able to bring popcorn. And also this is free. F-R-E-E-E. -E -E. Free, free, free. And I am excited. I am super pumped for this. Like I am really pumped. And I would love for you guys and girls to be able to fill the form out and get you signed up. Like, if you want to be part of D&D, &D, you have to be able to sign up the form, definitely. You know, if you want to be part of the games, you have to sign up. So sign up. It is free. It won't take you that long. The form is really, really short as it can be. So if you would love to be part of GameCom, it is July the 28th. To the 30th the last week of this month so we will love to be able to have you there I am I am super serial but um, <laughs> hopefully have yet you had time to look at that um, and you can also pause this um, whatever is on YouTube when I say this as well um, or even just go back in the stream or uh, or even just ask me <laughs> but um, this doesn't end our time here. We also do fellowship within our Discord server. 
So if you would like to hop into our Discord server, and if you want to hang out, chat, even play some games, or if if just maybe you have a question that maybe you're too scared to ask about the service, you can be able to click on that Discord link and join within the server. I already had the Discord open, so I will be there. I'm already there, actually. I'm not about to be there. I'm already there. You know, I do these services on Discord and Twitch. I don't know why I said that. I must be a dumb dumb. But um, I will see you guys and girls there. Till then, next time, and have a great rest of the Saturday, and have a great rest of Sunday, and I will see y'all back Monday for another for a reunify. See you then.